Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Um, today's video is a bit of an odd one. It's, I think we're going to call it a mixed craft forgotten haul. So I purchased a lot of this stuff. Um, I think it was probably last year actually, <laughs> last year or maybe on the beginning of maybe the beginning of this year. Um, I can't quite remember to be honest. And it's been laid on the side waiting for me to film it for the longest time, and I just never got round to doing it so and anyone that sort of like makes videos you'll understand I thought I can't pack it away until I've done a whole video so I'm going to do a whole video now and um, I'll try and link things um down below if you're interested or um if you want to know particularly where something came from you can always ask me and I'll see if I can help you out that way and um, I think most of it's probably Amazon I think there's a few things from the works and I think it's probably for resin and jewellery and things maybe um we'll have a look and see anyway I, I haven't gone back into this I can't remember everything I've got at all but I'm getting ready again now just to stop I'm getting back into my crafts and I just want to know what's in here so I can get it packed away so yeah um I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you do drop any comments and things down below if you haven't subscribed I would love it if you subscribed my name's Marcy by the way have I said that and then um, hi so I do all kind of crafty things. I have a look through my videos and playlists and whatnot. I'm going to start getting my YouTube a little bit more organised as well. The playlists and start condensing them down a bit more and just making it a little bit more user friendly. But yeah, I do have a good look through my channel. I've got loads and loads of content on there. And I've just filmed a craft room tour. So you can have a look there. You can sort of see the sort of things I've got. So yeah, welcome and let's get on. Um, Where shall we begin? Let's put this to the side. This, I'll do this way because I'm scared to turn it over with my address on. This is some, I think these are like little nail tapes. I got this. Now, this is a problem when you sort of watch YouTube videos late at night and they do like key rings and whatnot. I think I saw these being used on some key rings one time, but it's just like super, super thin tape. But I think this might have been too thin. <laughs> um, it's so thin it's like little metallic -y ones and i thought it might be quite good just to like make little designs with but you can also do it they're meant to be for nail art but can you sort of see there it's super thin so yeah that is that so i've got how many pieces are there here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten they're all like metallics and i am very certain they came from amazon so let me just pop this one back in there i think i did get some um did i get some wider tape so something in my head to tell me i bought some that was a bit wider oh no i've got more here as well sort of similar stuff so i don't know why i've got all this as well absolutely crackers you know what it's like anyway that's the first thing um i'm sure it'll come in useful for something i just don't know quite what yet but um yeah that's the first one there right good i can get that packed away <laughs> next thing oh all oh, right so we've got a resin mold oh i've just remembered so my husband asked me if I could make him, I clearly haven't done this, a for his golf to make a ball marker that was like a poker chip. So I was like, oh yeah. So I've ordered these, I forgot all about it. I might surprise him in making some. So these, excuse the crinkles. Um, again, this was, I'm pretty sure this was Amazon. So we have got some silicone moulds poker chips i thought that's quite cool isn't it so you can um you can make your own set of chips but you can make these into like fridge magnets or um like for pop sockets for your lanyards um key rings or anything so actually they're probably quite versatile um so they go right up from one dollar so it's one five ten 2550, 100, 500, 1000, 5000, and oh, duplicated. Okay, um, cool. But you could really like, they'd be quite happy. I don't know, they could be quite good, couldn't they? You could just try and make these other bits, make them two two tone colors, make your own poker chips. 
So I think they might be quite quite fun to use. Um, cool, I'd forgotten all about them. <laughs> Lovely. Um, right, let me just get that out of the way there. What have we got in here? Ah, so this one was from The Works and it's just some washi tape and um, 24 pack. So five metallic, six glitter and 13 patterned. They're quite nice actually for this time of year now, aren't they? Will they come out? Let me just get, do this. We can have a little look at them. I use washi tape mainly for my diamond paintings, actually, if I'm honest. But I have seen them people using it now in resin, and it looks really good. So actually, I'm quite pleased. I've got some of these. They might be quite nice to use. We can have a little experiment. But they're nice. They have lots of different sort of ones like this in the works and like you can just sort of display them on your shelf couldn't you like that just store them that way so I thought they were handy who doesn't need washi tape um next thing now this is from Amazon and this is I'll show you and I'll show you I've got one already that I've got filled and I'll show you what I use them for um it's just a little folder excuse the crinkles again these are great. Um, so a little folder here with a Velcro. Oh, it's a pop of fastening. And then inside, it's just got these little pockets. So you could use them for anything. But what I used them for was, um, and again, it was for, um, it's like a nail art product. So if you do nail art, you could do this or crafts. I thought it was really, really handy. I'll show you the one I've got filled in already. And I'll show you what I'm going to be putting in them. Bear with me. This is all very last minute kind of thoughts. So you know how you get these little stickers? Um, like your nail art stickers. And they're on little sheets like this. Well, it's a bit of a pain to have to like go through them all, all the time. And just store them like that. So I thought they'd be really good to, be, to go in this. And so I have got some already. And what I did, I just cut little bits of card and put them behind it so I could see. And so you can see I've got all my little stickers <laughs> stored in there. So I've got white card for the black designs, black card for the white designs. So I can see them. And then this way I can do them back to back as well because then they're not like sort of on top of each other. And I just thought it's a really good way of flicking through. And then things so you can see there, that's just like the piece of card I've put in. I've just cut them down. So I will um, be able to pack all of these ones away now that I have another folder. But yeah, these are absolutely brilliant. Um, they're just great, aren't they? So I'll link those definitely down below because I think it's a really good little product. So I'm happy to have another one of those. I've forgotten all about it. So I can, that's a little job I can be doing. Um, uh, from the works. Oh my God, I'm literally, I totally have a problem. Um, some more glitter. I just can't stop buying glitter. Um, I just love it. For £2, it's brilliant. These are great. They're great for kids as well. So they're just like a little shaker. So you can do a little sprinkle one or pour. And how many colours have we got? One, two, three. Six. Oh, we can see here. So six different colours. So we've got some nice little purple, blue. That's beautiful blue. Like a holographic white, pink gold silver then on this one again another silver another gold like a baby pink another white a blue and a purple so these aren't that different but i love them i have got some others already i'll just show you this other one i've got so you can kind of see um again that's got black it's quite a good halloween one that black green orange you know purple so yeah they're absolutely brilliant two pounds each i'm not sure if they're still two pounds because like i said i got them earlier in the year but who doesn't love it? i've just got so much glitter i don't really need more glitter but it's so cheap you just sort of pop it in your basket and then that's it oh, um, oh my gosh i forgot about this brilliant so this is this the sand i think this is is this sand I don't even know what it is. I'm pretty sure this is sand that I can use my resin. I'm wanting to make some like beachy um, key rings and coasters and things. So yeah, it's just some really lovely sort of sand that I can mix in with my resin and do something like that. So yeah, I'll try and find that and link that down below if you're interested as well. What I might do actually, I have got um, like an Amazon storefront. So I might just pop everything 
on there and i'll put the link to my storefront down below and then from now on whenever i buy anything from amazon i'll just add it straight into my storefront um next thing i've got are some bezels um i'm wanting to do like my resin jewelry making let's have a look at these oh. so these are a bit of a mixed lot we've got different finishes so there's some silver like some gold and I suppose like an antique bronze like a bronzy one antique gold um lots of different shapes so there's like diamondy ones let's try and see what different shapes we can find um oh gosh there's quite a variety actually is that about oh a little moon um so so seven different designs. Oh, got square. Oh no, that's diamonds. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> oh, got like a there. I reckon that must be it. It must be like six different designs. You reckon in all the different colours. But I thought they were quite nice. Um, I'm not sure if I've got some tape to um secure the bezels down to. So I maybe need to get some of that. But I'm looking forward to creating some lovely um jewelry designs with these again i'll link those down below let me just sweep these out the way all right what have we got in here uh, i think this is more amazon goodiness oh i've forgotten about this right then, so i've got just some holographic flakes just because i think it's quite like the film it's quite hard to find like the holographic stuff and just a couple of flakes in this honestly can make your resin look gorgeous and it's quite good if you want to do like a faux opal design or anything like that so but i'd get some of those because whilst i've got loads of glitter i don't think i've got many like the foils so yeah that was definitely something that i needed um picked up some earrings um so the posts so let's have a look what we've got in here I am wondering about maybe just getting some like sterling silver ones and things, you know, just in case of allergies on ears, but these will do to begin with. What are they made of? Does it say? I'm not sure. But we have got some like large post ones here, some bigger ones here in like the sort of silver and the gold design. And then the smaller ones, you can look at them in difference in size. There's some smaller ones there. So these are great just for doing like your little stud earrings and things. So yeah, a large and a small in the gold, a large and a small in the silver. And that came as one pack. All right then, we've got... I don't know why I got this. <laughs> From the works. Can't help myself. Just some like little sequiny things, but a little holographic flowers i thought they might just be quite nice just to add on something about hair clips and you can maybe just sort of stick them on the hair clip and maybe pop a little bead or gem or something in the middle that could be quite pretty just a pound i mean they're just great to have in super cheap and then my last thing i hadn't realized i've got more stickers <laughs> nail stickers i was clearly um I'm a bit of an all on nothing person i'm a bit Slightly crackers. Let's have a look at the designs in here and why they are so different to what I've already got. Okay. Oh, these are quite good. They could just come as individual ones. So we've got some little butterflies. I do think these are going to be really nice for a form of resin. Um, I've been watching quite a lot of videos and things where people do use stickers and things in. And they actually look really, really lovely. Um, so some nice butterflies on that. Some different butterflies here these are quite nice because they mirror each other so you could even use these on maybe some of the earrings as well potentially especially with it mirroring so those are the gold ones they've got some in silver lots of different sort of sizes and styles are they all butterflies some in gold oh, what's this one here let's turn these around oh my gosh i'm absolutely crackers they're just all butterflies i'm not really sure why i ordered them what i did <laughs> they look pretty though but there's an awful lot there um and especially when i've got like all these other little ones as well these are quite tiny though but um yeah so let's i think that's everything 
Um, good, I can get it all packed away now. So yeah, just as a, a recap. So I've got all of these um, nail art stickers. I've got the little holographic flower embellishments. I've got my, oh, I'm so excited for this actually. The, the holographic foils, the sand, which is good. Loads of glitter. <laughs> The washi tape, this little folder, which is brilliant. Um, the little nail art um, rolls of tape. These are so cool, aren't they? The poker chip resin molds, all of those bezels and the earring posts as well. Oh, is that it all? That's it all, isn't it? So yeah, that's my little um, forgotten haul. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed my video, guys. I will see you all in my next one um, when we can start using all of my products. Um, happy crafting. I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Mwah! Bye for now.